Hey guys, this is Danny. The year 2024 is off to a cool start, thanks to the release of some cool games. But among all these pal rolled, and shrouded, and Helldivers 2, there is not a single strategy game. It's a cool genre, by the way, and it's not dying out at all. Today, I will show you some brand new strategies that will visit us this year. Click on the like, click on subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go. Do you miss adrenaline and dynamic gameplay? The perfect place to get it all? Good old Crossout. Tense battles, dozens of different vehicles, and hundreds of parts for their customization are waiting for you. You can make a powerful, bulletproof tank and destroy your enemies just by the look of it. Or make something smaller, but fast, and get in the back of unsuspecting enemies. In any case, Crossout is the best place to show everyone who is a real pro. Download the game at the link in the description. when I learned that the developers of Age of Mythology are making a new, updated version of the game. I was surprised, because this is a remaster of the 2002 game. They haven't told a lot of details about it yet, even in Steam Store it's not available yet, but the fact that they are making it is very encouraging. From changes, it is planned to improve gameplay in all aspects, and of course, pull up the graphics to the current realities. The release of the masterpiece will be released only on PC, no consoles, and how to play strategy there. What about oil and frost? Well, more deaths, child labor, working 16 hours a day, and elections without a choice. This is all the future Frostpunk 2. The game has undergone some changes compared to the first part. First of all, everything is based on oil now. Secondly, we build up the city now, not just buildings, but entire neighborhoods. Thirdly, we can no longer make laws at the snap of our fingers. The local governing assembly will decide, and we are now like that, an uncle who chooses where a neighbor neighborhood will be located. Of course, we can influence something there too, but not much. Moral dilemmas, complicated elections, mountains of corpses, and everything else didn't go anywhere, so all the things we loved the first part for are still there. Welcome to China, but your quest here is not quite joyful. You must fulfill the Emperor's wish and bring prosperity to the city. Making decisions is not fun because there are more people and the needs of your citizens are growing, so it's up to you to organize the production chains and make your city prosperous. Look for ideal places to mine natural resources and place food production in short. Do everything to make the Chinese multiply. Visually, it doesn't look bad, plus you can already request access to a playtime test from the developers. The release itself is scheduled for March this year. And here is World War II and Men of War II. You are waiting for a real-time strategy where you can fight on the western and eastern fronts. Here they brought the storyline to make it more interesting. Although, to be frank, there will be three story campaigns. And in order to work it all out thoroughly, the developers moved the game to 2024. It was supposed to be released in September last year. Also, there will be PvP modes on 13 different maps, lots of co-op, and the ability to customize the game with mods. The latter we especially like. All in all, we are waiting. It looks intriguing. <laughs> And here is Commandos. Moreover, the developers already had a bad experience with Commandos Shooter. They apologized, said that they had been drinking too much, accidentally made a shit game, and regretted a lot for ruining the series. I'm sure many of you don't even know about it. That's why the developers made a new game in the old role, the plot of which will tell about the rise of the elite forces of the Second World War era. Gameplay, as before, you are waiting for a tactical strategy with the ability to control multiple characters characters. Here there will be six of them, divided into different specializations. Well there, driver, spy, marine, and so on. It sounds at least interesting. <laughs> Enough about WWE 2 is there anything else? Of course there is. Space is huge in the third part of the legendary homeworld. As usual, we are waiting for the whole galaxy, real-time strategy, management of your fleet, and battles in three-dimensional space completely. And also your battles take place not only in open space, but also somewhere inside a huge abandoned ship of an ancient civilization. It looks very cool. The game features good graphics, realistic ballistic simulation, and even each new mission will leave trace 
places on the ships of your fleet. Plot, co-op, and even PvP will be there too. Now let's head into the Middle Ages in the game, Manor Lords, where we are waiting for a city building game with very large scale battles and a developed system of economy and social life and the graphics. The graphics are awesome in general. I've been looking at it for half a year now and everything I see really pleases me. Seasons, various raids, realistic battles, capturing territories and full fledged wars and in size very similar to the wars of the Total War series. And what is most amazing, this game is a dream project, because it was started by one person and is still finishing it. The release, by the way, is scheduled for April 24, so let's try this masterpiece soon. Let's not go far from the Middle Ages, let's look at the Vikings in Viking City Builder. And judging by the fact that the game has the name City Builder, you can understand that we will build a settlement on the ruins of European villages. On the one hand, gameplay wise, this is a classic strategy about building and managing a village in real time. But Vikings are tough guys, so here we added raids, battles, the ability to rob and kill, and everything else that the Vikings and so did left and right. All this is fueled by by good graphics and now we see an extremely intriguing project. In front of you is a new, beautiful, economic city building strategy in the Nile Valley, where we will show the world how to build for centuries, what kind of pyramids are there, and if you make a wrong move here, hello civil war, there will be a lot of religion, trade, because money must be earned in strategies, well, and fight with neighboring empires will also have to, so be prepared. Here are the games of Civilization series was famous for the fact that we start there almost with sticks and bring our civilization to technological progress, flights into space and so on. Now Civilization is not the only game that has it all. In front of you is Era, History Untold, a brand new game where you will also have to lead humanity through the ages. Also, the game looks to work not only with the global map, but also within cities too, which makes it an extremely curious project, for Civilization can't do that. The moves in the game game are really simultaneous, not alternating, which can lead to sudden turns, especially during war. In short, a curious project. Dark Moon is something unique, a kind of strategy and survival, where we have to avoid sunlight and exist in the dark. For this purpose, we have a mobile base that serves as our home. We will get out of it, mine ore, collect resources, improve it and the life of the team. Plus, we will often have to make different decisions, morally complex, but most importantly, do not go out in the sunlight, because its rays will burn you in a couple of seconds. At the same time, the game itself is also story driven, though the plot is not linear, so every time you start again, it will change, giving you different challenges. You want something as classic as possible, right? That's where Stormgate comes in. The most classic RTS where mankind fights with aliens. It's a typical map, battles, base development, and everything else. Visually, of course, it does not look like something breakthrough, rather just as a usual strategy, but the content is not bad. There is a company, and battles with bots, and PvP modes, and even cooperative is also there. Yes, the company, by the way, can also be played in co-op, which sounds very cool. All in all, the first truly social RTS. In what worlds we have not been today, and Greece, and Egypt, and the future, and the past, and even some moon. Now we have Atlantis, and in front of you, city building simulator of Atlantis, with notes of survival. Because as you remember, Atlantis didn't survive. Here, you are going to change that. You have to keep an eye on both the inhabitants and the enemies who come up to you from the water and bombard your city. You will have to build defenses and try to keep the locals alive. The graphics look pretty cool.
This is Tempest Rising, an RTS where a nuclear apocalypse has come to Earth. After that, the people split into three completely asymmetrical factions, with their own attitude to the economy and style of play, and now they are at war. At the same time, the game is equipped with two epic single-player campaigns with different missions, story, and PvP system. It all sounds extremely intriguing, especially with this visual style. Well, that's all for for today. I hope you found something interesting for you, so please click on the like and subscribe too. Well, with you was as always Danny, and all the best.